Ask me that question again, Damon. Brilliant question. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, if you weren't a guru, Claude, uh, well, I'd like to call you a guru because it's not like you're selling, <laughs> I love not like you're selling <laughs> tools, uh, tools and uh, automation. You're, you're, telling people, you're teaching people how to sell. Um, but if you weren't in your position uh, as, as a person that's in the East, you know, no lease purchase, everything else, no sales, and you were just marketing for real estate deals, where would you, where would you market? Now, how would you market now? Uh, great question. I would first go to the media where my strength lies. Are you a, okay. are you, do you love doing video? Say hello to Mr. Hart. Hello. She couldn't hear. <laughs> Claudia, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Always great. You're walking in and out of the screen there. I know, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's kind of like Charlie's Angels right now. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Oh, you can't oh. see her? You can't see no. me? I can see you. Oh, You're she's. Oh, me. okay, sorry. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's the sunglasses that you just didn't recognize me. <laughs> it is bright. It is bright out here. Um, great question. If I had to, I would go to the media. Where's my strength lie? This comes from self awareness, self analysis. Have you done go in front of the bathroom mirror? Have two martinis? No, skip the martinis. Go in front of the bathroom mirror and say, what is my strength? What am I sure. good? At? What am I good at? Be really honest. What do I suck at? What can I improve at? But where am I really great? Where's my, where's my power? I jump all over people on this because I think they waste their God-given gifts sometimes. Okay. Do you like video? Do you like audio? Do you, I, do you take great pictures of properties? Do you like to do podcasts? Do you like to write really great little articles? Where's your strength lie? That would be step sure. number one. And it can be a multitude of things, by the way. I love videos. That's why I do, I do those, all those crazy clawed YouTubes with leprechaun hats and blinking bow ties and things like that. I do that. And I get a, unbelievable thousands of people respond to those things. And I like the creativity and the fun. So I do a lot of videos. Number two, make sure that whatever medium you use, that it cross-pollinates it. You multitask it through all the different social networks, and it's got to include, absolutely required to include Facebook. It must interact with Facebook. Why? Facebook is the world. It is the number two or three a web page in the world. Everybody's in there. The people who follow you, the people who want to follow you, the people who are doing research or looking for information. It has to be, that content has to be linked up either through a link or organically where you embed it right into Facebook. Facebook right now is spending billions improving their system. They've gone very strong into video. Okay, you put a video in Facebook and you spend $20, $30 on Facebook Boost and that content is, is, is intriguing, interesting, it will explode, okay? And so you gotta choose your medium. You've, then you've got to make sure that it's, you're utilizing social media because you can have follows. I heard two 15-year-old girls on Gary Vaynerchuk two weeks ago. This one girl is using, um, it's a music, uh, what's it called? Musical.ly, it's called. It's a new video, a music application where you can sing along, lip sync to videos like Millie Vanilli did, okay? And mm -hmm. she has seven and a half million followers. She's only 15 years old. Mm. Okay. So Facebook, definitely. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever, whatever ones you like. Or do them all. I do them all. I try to change them up a little, but I try to get big bang for my buck. I'll do a video on YouTube. I'll put it into a Facebook. I'll, I'll put it in other sections of Facebook, my sales pages and things. I will then link it into uh, Instagram, pin, uh, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. Okay, I will then live broadcast. If it's really interesting, I will live broadcast it on Blab, Periscope, uh, Meerkat. And back to Facebook again. Facebook started something new called Facebook Live. If you have an iOS application, you can broadcast live on Facebook. It automatically, all the people who follow you are notified that Damon Hart is broadcasting live and it's embedded in your Facebook page automatically. Cool shit.
okay? All this stuff. And Facebook on top of that is using something called Messenger, where you can do what we're doing right now on Skype. You can, people who are subscribers or friends, you can actually, uh, you can text them, you can message them, you can um, video or phone call them right within Facebook now. Where is this all going? YouTube is supposed to come out any day now. I'm waiting with baby to YouTube connect where YouTube will now have live, where you can do live streaming video. We hope, we don't know yet. It hasn't been released. So this is the technology. I, and it might've been the way I just presented it overwhelming, but you find the right media that you like cross pollinate it. That media, here's the key. Here's the key though. You can't just do one shot. You right. can't do That's one cool. one week and one next week. Uh, you, I think if you really want to take this seriously, you have to put it out consistently. And the market is the ultimate decision maker. It's got to be interesting. It can't be boring. It's, it's got to be persuasive, compelling. It's got to relate to today. You find the people on YouTube who are very successful, who have millions of followers, and they're putting out regular content every week. Sorry, Absolutely. long answer for a great question. Yeah, it was, it was a long, there's a lot of stuff in there, but, and, but I think you uh, hit it on the head when you said the find your media. And I think that's important for a lot of people just getting started because, you know, you could go a lot of different places with online and, uh, and you're talking about getting quality leads. Um, how do you, how would you describe that to someone that doesn't really know, Claude, how would you describe how to convert those leads or even how to generate those leads to target? Because I mean, you put out a lot of content, but you get certain types of responses from your people, don't you? Yeah. Well, people, follow, people who discover me watch my other videos. Then eventually they go to my Facebook or my web page. Okay. The web page to me is tertiary. It's not primary or secondary. It's, they're discovering me through social media, through live videos. Eventually they're making the connection to my web page. On my web page, I have a free newsletter, a free book, a free 15-minute training session. I offer, I'm still giving and giving and giving without asking. No floating ba bullshit banners, no blinking lights, content. The, the, you have to give people to earn their trust. You're this far apart from people. How do you get in closer and closer? You have to, you know, for them, you're a stranger. Mom said, don't talk to strangers. We treat strangers rudely who call us at dinner time. How do we break that barrier? We have to give them stuff where they say, man, I love Damon. Oh, God, great stuff. The guy's nice. He's honest. He's got, oh, he's funny. He's got great content. You know, I like watching him. I like listening. I like reading him. I want to learn more. I want to buy his shit. I want to buy his book. I want him to buy my sister's. I want him to help my sister sell her house. I want him to help me invest in a property. I want, to, I want him to list my, my grandmother's house because I know Damon. I've been watching him. I know he's going to take care of her. There's the trust, the likability and trust factor there. This is, this is, word of mouth has become digitized. And if we can take advantage of it by a little hard work and talent, we can explode the quality of our list. That's why I get so pissed off when people are spending thousands of dollars on, on, on alternative marketing methods, billboards, newspaper, TV, radio ads, uh, mailers, and things like that, which have shit ROI. Shit for ROI. When I do this stuff for free, and I try to put out stuff I hope people find interesting, and then they follow me, they, they subscribe, 